Hi guys, I'm Sarah from Somatic Movement Center, and I'm going to explain why static stretching doesn't work. If you've tried stretching to release your tight muscles or relieve your pain, you've probably found that it doesn't work. There are two reasons why. First, static stretching activates your stretch reflex, which is formally known as the myotatic reflex. The stretch reflex is hardwired into your nervous system, and it helps to prevent you from tearing your muscles and connective tissues. When your doctor taps under your knee with their hammer, they're checking to make sure your stretch reflex is working. The hammer hits your patellar tendon and stretches it, which then stretches your quadriceps tendon and your quadriceps muscles. Your nervous system immediately contracts your quadriceps to prevent the muscles and tendons from being torn. So the stretch reflex is an essential survival mechanism, but it means that static stretching, and by that I mean pulling on a passive muscle and expecting it to get longer, is not very productive. When you hold a static stretch for a short time, it literally accomplishes nothing. When you hold a static stretch for a long time, your stretch reflex can temporarily become less active. This will make your muscles temporarily feel more relaxed. But within a few hours, your stretch reflex will start to return to normal activity, and by the next day, you'll feel just as tight as you were before. The second reason why static stretching doesn't work to release your tight muscles or relieve your pain is because it doesn't change the messages that your nervous system is sending to your muscles to stay tight. Throughout your life, your nervous system actually learns to keep certain muscles tight because of the movements that you tend to repeat every day and because of how you react to stress and injuries. There's a sensory motor feedback loop in your nervous system called the gamma loop. The gamma loop senses and maintains the length of your muscles. As your brain keeps sending messages to your muscles to contract, the gamma loop gradually adapts over time to those continued messages, and it begins to keep your muscles a little bit contracted all the time. So your baseline level of muscle tension, which is the amount of tension in your muscles when you're at rest, just tends to increase as you get older, as you do more repetitive movements, and as you experience more stress. And unfortunately, stretching does not have a lasting effect on gamma loop activity, and it doesn't change the messages that your brain is sending to your muscles to stay tight. Your nervous system has learned to keep your muscles tight. So to release your muscle tension, you have to reverse the process. You need to teach your nervous system to release that muscle tension, and this requires an active learning process that only you can do. Luckily, humans and most other animals have a built-in, hardwired way to release tension in our muscles, and it's called pendiculation. When our nervous system senses built-up tension or inactivity in muscles, it instinctively contracts those muscles and then releases them in order to wake them up. You've seen babies and animals do this, and you probably do it sometimes when you've been sitting for a while. You get the urge to contract your back and shoulder muscles, so you raise your arms and arch your back. This is not a static stretch, it's a pandiculation. In your nervous system, static stretching and pandiculation are completely different. If you pandiculate your muscles on a regular basis, your gamma loop will gradually adapt so your baseline level of muscle tension will decrease more and more over time. Pendiculation is the most effective way to release muscle tension and relieve pain. If you want to learn pendiculation exercises that release muscles throughout your body, check out my level 1 and 2 courses, which you can see at somaticmovementcenter.com slash learn somatics exercises. And be sure to check out my book, The Pain Relief Secret, which you can buy on Amazon. Thanks for watching!